Hi, welcome back. On this video here, we're going to do a little refactoring first, a little uh, turning these queries into functions because uh, it's still not right. We did this right here the first time and it, it turned out great, right? So we put it in the back in the functions uh, file here. So let's do that with this one here also. We need to start getting into the habit of putting everything into functions. So let's go ahead and go to take this out of here. I actually am going to use a feature here that you probably have not seen yet. And let's just click here and we're going to split it in half. I'm going to put a file here and it's going to be here on the right side. Well, this is for the people that are using this code editor, by the way. So if you're not using this code editor, don't worry about it. And I'm just going to use this working file C a lot better than using the right, the one in the bottom there for some reason. Because I'm not so used to using this editor. Uh, that's why you probably see me looking right here but anyway everything is up here and everything's close here so as you can see there let's go to the login update here and let's take this out of here all right let's take it out let's just actually take it out with that php tag that we need there we go all right Let's make this a little bigger. Remember, this is functions actually, no, right here. Let's just bring it down to the right hand panel right here. I just, I just dragged it in down. And we're going to call this function. This function is actually responsible for updating. All right, so this is the update function. function. So let's just do it. All right, just making sure the tags are correctly. That's why I click on it. That way I can see this underlying little line there. And I'm just going to put some space here. And we don't actually need that tag, by the way. I thought we didn't, have, we didn't have it here, but we do. All right. And we don't need this if, if submit. We don't need that. So let's go back to this. And let's just leave it here. All right. Let's just leave it here. And what we're going to be putting here. Let's just leave everything here. We don't need it. What we're going to be putting here is the function. All right. So we're going to leave the if set here, and we're going to have we're going to call the function when the when the form is submitted. So let's call it, let's first make this function here because we have to make it. Let's wrap this whole thing into a function. So we're going to call this function update update um, table All right update table let's wrap it up so now every time we want to access all this content here we're just gonna call this this function let's go back to the right panel to the left panel and let's just put all that information there here and let's let's see if the function works as a matter of fact we have to bring the global connection, this one here, we have to also take it to this function right here. So make sure that's there. All right? Okay. Perfect. So let's go to this file here, login underscore update, and let's try it. Seven and uh, let's call it the IP man. And let's just say some bogus password here update and it looks like it worked let's check it out seven and it worked all right so we were able to refactor I'm not gonna make this video too long all right so let's go ahead on the next one and let's finally I think we don't have to do anything else here let's finally go ahead and start um, deleting stuff from our database all right so anyway See you in the next video. Take care.